What group of drugs does Kevin Tom belong? What is its main active ingredient? Its main active ingredient is vinpocetine, which improves the metabolism of the central nervous system. Is it a nootropic? No, it mainly enhances metabolism. It is not a nootropic. What effects does Caventon have? Caventon improves blood circulation in the brain by expanding blood vessels. Secondly, it improves metabolism, metabolic processes. Thirdly, the drug improves the rheological properties of blood, that is, it lowers the viscosity of blood to allow the blood to flow to each cell in the brain. The sum effect is an improvement in, in the metabolism of the brain. The drug has been around for a while, is tested and is used in neurology, psychiatry, neurosurgery and pediatric psychiatry. In what cases is Caventon used in psychiatry and neurology? The drug's application is quite broad. It is used in rehabilitation therapy after infection, trauma, and the range of illnesses connected to problems with blood circulation in the brain. This could be a vertebral pathology, chronic cerebrovascular insufficiency, cerebral atherosclerosis, or cerebrovascular atherosclerosis. We applied during drug rehabilitation treatment, during withdrawal syndrome. We use the drug to protect against toxic encephalopathies. Can the drug help with headaches, migraines, tinnitus and vertigo? Yes, we often use the drug as a part of complex therapy for ear, nose and throat pathologies, for tinnitus and vertigo. In neurology, we use it for problems with the vestibular system. We can use Caventon for vision problems when they are caused by vascular problems in the retina. All of these symptoms call for improvement of blood circulation and metabolism. That is, many disorders we encounter in practice are connected to problems in the cerebral cortex and the functions of the central nervous system. Caventon is very useful in treating these these symptoms. Can Cavington be used to treat epilepsy and concussion? In rehabilitation therapy following traumatic injury, Caventon should be used as one component of treatment. We can also use the drug when dealing with epileptic seizures. The drug is also used as a course of treatment most often in epileptology with other drugs, including anticonvulsants. In what form is Cavington released? The drug is sold as tablets and in amples. Both Caventon and Caventon Forte are sold in tablets. What is the difference between the two? Well, Caventon Forte provides a double dose of the medication. This is what is meant when you see the term Forte, an increased dose. Depending on the course of the treatment, the patient is not prescribed a dose of two pills. As a rule, uh, a doctor who knows the patient should prescribe the medication. It's simple. It's just a pill with twice the dose of standard Caventon. How should Caventon be taken? At what dose? As a rule, it is prescribed at 4 mg three times a day. This is the standard dose. If we are talking about the typical dose, it's usually 15 to 20 mg a day for the designated period. If the patient's condition requires more intensive treatment, then in the early stages the drug is administered intravenously as a drip. The ampules are dissolved in the saline solution or other liquids for intravenous injection and are administered in a drip. This is done so the patient receives the effect of the medication before switching to the tablet form. Should Caventon be taken before or after food? Food does not have an effect at all. Caventon does not have any serious side effects and patients tolerate it well. Can patients take Caventon before sleeping? Caventon has no effect on sleep and is not a stimulant. Therefore, the drug won't cause any problems with sleep. How long is the course of Caventon? Considering the drug has a wide range of applications and treats a variety of illnesses, the intensity of the treatment course is individual, taking into account the nature of the disorder. The course is rarely fewer than 15 days, sometimes it is a month or a month and a half. If we are dealing with chronic vascular disorder, we administer the treatment twice a year, with courses of one and a half months. How long does it take for the therapeutic qualities of Caventon to take effect? How long does it take for the drug to start working? Since the drug acts on the blood vessels and metabolism, patients typically notice an improvement in their condition at the end of the first week of treatment. Sometimes it takes until the end of the second week. It all depends on the reason for administering the drug. If we are treating vertigo, memory problems, vision or hearing problems, sometimes it takes until the second week to notice the difference. However, the general feeling of vigor, where the brain starts to more clearly process information, that is, metabolic manifestations, usually occurs during the first week. What is the maximum length of treatment course of the drug? 
In rehabilitation therapy, it is about a month and a half. In other cases, if we want to successfully treat more serious and persistent illness, it can be up to three months. The drug does not cause dependency and there tend to be fewer complications. As a neuropathologist and psychiatrist, I will say that in practice the drug is very well tolerated. It is deservedly popular with doctors. The drug has a wide range of applications in our practice. What side effects can patients expect when taking Cavinton? In my experience, complications are very rare. However, if they do occur, they include nausea, sometimes headaches, sometimes dermatological complications in form of itching. That is, the presence of certain allergic reactions to the drug. Occasionally, patients experience anxiety or changes in blood pressure, often high blood pressure. These kinds of things happen but very rare. So you would recommend caution while treating patients with hypertension? Of course, of course. Despite the fact that the medication regulates cerebrovascular tone, any drug in this group affects the overall condition of blood vessels in the body. However, it mainly affects those in the brain. That's why people with high or low blood pressure, that is, with hypertension or hypertension, must take the drug with the doctor's supervision, so as to control and monitor blood pressure. Is overdose possible with Caventon? Considering that the drug affects the blood vessels, the patient might experience hot flashes or heart palpitations, sometimes vertigo, anxiety, fear or panic. Sometimes the drug can alter a patient's psychological state. However, all of these symptoms are rare since the drug is used as a part of a complex rehabilitative therapy as opposed to monotherapy. For whom is Caventon contraindicated? The contraindications are quite obvious. If the patient, for example, is allergic to the active ingredient of the drug, since it has an effect on blood vessels, particularly in the brain, naturally we do not recommend and prohibit the drug for use by patients who have suffered acute hemorrhagic strokes. Those who have suffered hemorrhages should not take Caventon. We do not recommend it to patients with serious conditions, such as heart attacks, or severe tachycardia, as the drug might exacerbate tachycardia, and perhaps in all severe conditions since the drug is used for rehabilitation therapy. So, for severe conditions, we do not recommend this medication. What are the dangers of taking Caventon with alcohol? Alcohol causes changes in the state of blood vessels, that is, they expand and then narrow. This leads to an increase in blood pressure. At the same time, Caventon might add or neutralize the effect of the alcohol. These effects are unpredictable. This phenomenon is connected to the cardiovascular system, with the condition of blood cells in the brain. Drinking alcohol with Caventon might cause high blood pressure, headaches or, alternatively, lowered blood pressure. Sometimes Caventon acts as an antagonist and sometimes as a synergist. That is, it might increase the effects of the alcohol. That's why taking Caventon with alcohol is not ideal. How does Caventon interact with other kinds of pharmaceuticals? In neurology, psychotherapy and psychiatry, we often use Caventon with other types of drugs in the course of rehabilitation therapy. In rehabilitation therapy, we use a complex of vitamins, nootropics, necessarily biologically active substances such as biogenic stimulants and alloy. And, of course, we use them to improve metabolism. They are metabolic drugs. That's why Caventon is not to be used as a monotherapy and should be a part of a complex treatment. All of these medications complement one another. What analogues are there to Caventon? Cynorhizium, Cermion and Actavigin first come to mind. These are drugs which improve blood circulation as well as metabolic processes. 